What's going on? This is Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid, and this is part two of the four base lobster surprise unboxing situation. Intro? So, um, while you try to figure out what the heck to call this whole shenanigans situation that's happening, I'm just going to call it Christmas in November. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, this is number two of that whole situation. So, my man Lobster actually sent me this base. He had no need for it. He sent this base to me so that I could review it. And then uh, let me, you know, let him know what I think about it. And I played this bass and I actually like it. So I'm going to keep it. And we, this is going to be a project bass. So we're going to see what the heck we can do with it. With a limited budget, you know. So this is, this is, this is, this is interesting. In that this whole thing was produced by a CNC machine. All the way down to the pick pickups, which is Destiny CNC Wound. That's what it says on the pickup right there. Um, there is something that's pretty peculiar about this bass. And I'm not going to be able to do it justice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flash it over to Lobster. And he's going to tell you the strange bit of business about that. And then I'll go into it. So uh, Lobster. For electronics and hardware, this features a Music Man style humbucker with a volume, tone, tone, tone setup. That's right, three tone knobs. Now there's a very large control cavity around back, so I'm thinking that they're leaving room for expansion with a preamp or some sort of additional control setup that you could install yourself. I think that this is a foundation for modification, or at least attempting to be. Okay, so I've uh, messed with it just on the, um, just messing around with the volume, not really messing with these knobs because I don't know how to feel about what it could possibly sound like. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this whole thing together and then we'll see what the heck happens. You know what I'm saying?
So, this is a passive bass, and it's three different tone controls, and they actually do something to the sound of the bass, but I don't know if it's worth having three slots for just one knob, it should be. That's what I feel like. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go ahead and gut these electronics and uh, do an experiment with a company that I have yet to use in any of my bases. Tone Hammer. So, the next video is gonna be what this bass sounds like after I install the Tone Hammer preamp. Um, the one that I have has a blend knob and uh, has a three band EQ with a volume. I'm not gonna need a blend knob, there's only one pickup, so I'm kinda gonna bypass that and then we'll make the experiment happen. Uh, luckily, the Tone, uh, the Tone uh, Monster Preamp has the same type of uh, pots and stuff, so I can utilize these same knobs, so nobody will know that there's a different preamp in it and I'll just utilize the cavity, the, uh, cavity they have on the back and we'll make this thing do what it does. Uh, but I do need to say that the craftsmanship and how this thing feels is actually really good. This doesn't feel like a toy, it's not light, it's not a boat anchor, but it's not like... This is easily comparable with my Sterling five string. So Sterling Music Man is what I'm talking about. It looks good, it feels good, the frets are perfect on it. It's, it's great, dude. It's great. And these are the strings that are on it. I'm gonna do a little something, a little funky, a little crazy, because this is gonna be my this is gonna be my Avril Levine, my party bass. So I'm gonna throw some crazy strings on this bad boy and we're gonna see what's going on. And then uh yeah, so I'm gonna install the preamp, and if I'm not happy with that, I might go back in and uh Throw me maybe an Aguilar or a Seymour Duncan or a Wilkinson because I'm trying to stay on budget. So maybe a Wilkinson pick up in here. See what's going on with it. So y'all stay tuned for that next video. And uh, yeah, rock with you next time. This is Alan Brown, K Bullet the Kid. Y'all be easy. Hmm.